Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a list of my favorite books. I know not everyone likes reading, so I was kind of thinking about not doing this video, but then I thought I like to read, and that's my channel, so why not do it? Maybe I'll find some new subscribers that like to read with me. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk too much, so let's go. Have someone, cause I might break if you're gonna die. Um, but yeah, I'm reading The Shining by Stephen King. I've never read it. I've never watched the movie. Um, I've just heard good things about it. I wanted to read a new scary book. And yeah, so. The next book I have is So This Is Love. So this is, um, a twisted tale from Cinderella. So, um, it's like, on the back it says, What if Cinderella never tried on the glass slipper? So this is basically Cinderella, but if she never tried on the glass slipper, what would have happened so this is the twisted tale series i have all of them and this is the only one that i've read and i really like it i tried reading the other ones i can't get into them but i will someday okay so the next book that i have is want to go private so i read this book in sixth grade i'm now in seventh grade not that big of a difference so it's about this girl who is using social media and she has a social media app that her parents don't know about and she um <sighs> gets in contact with this guy who's like perfect and super nice and then they meet up and he ends up being not that nice so um he's not everything he's like a 60 year old man which is why you should not talk to strangers <laughs> but yeah i really like this book it's really fun it's really like oh my god like um it's great definitely check this one out next book that i have is a land of stories so this series i read in fourth grade in seventh grade and um this book is basically about these kids who are raised by their grandmother and their mom um their dad passed away and they basically fall into a book and their grandma turns out to be the fairy godmother and all this crazy stuff it's kind of like a disney but like you get a real insight on all the characters i love this book so much I love the whole series. I've read it three times. Um, Chris Coffer is an amazing author. Definitely recommend this. Tell Magic, which this book is about a year old. Um, prequel to the Land of Stories. It is new, um, but it, it is a prequel. Um, you can read this without reading the Land of Stories, which I really like, but it's a lot fun. It's a lot more fun when you have read the Land of Stories. And it's like, I first read this book, um, I had no idea that it was to the land of stories until I got to like the end and I connected everything and it was so fun to read. I have is A Walk to Remember. So this is a movie, um, I love this book so much. The movie, it's about this, it's kind of one of those like bad boy, good girl things where they fall in love and then after falling in love, um, they end up. yeah they fall in love and then something really bad happens at the end it was kind of like not a happy ending but also a happy ending i don't really know i really love this book you should definitely read it and you could still watch this movie but if you don't like reading i don't know why you're watching this maybe because you like me and so i like between because it's about like the afterlife and like <clears throat> what happens when you die and nobody really knows that but i really like to read about the afterlife because the perspective on different authors and you get to see like how they think um so yeah remember me which is kind of like that this is two books i read them both in about a week because i was so in love with this i was just reading and reading and reading it's basically like between it's an afterlife but it's also a love story between is kind of a love story but not really i really like this book definitely recommend i'm not going to give you too much like information on it because then it'll just give the whole story away book is Coraline so Coraline is my favorite movie if you guys saw my um necklace collection I had some of the necklaces but I only got this book because I liked the movie and I read it and then I sat on it <laughs> but it, it looks small but it took me a while to read for some reason I read this in like fifth grade so yeah I really like this book because I like the movie room so again for this one I watched the movie um and I didn't even know it was a book and then I found out that it was a book and I got it. So the book, the, these, this mom was kidnapped and she has a child with the person that kidnapped her and he doesn't know about the world and he is just stuck in this room watching TV thinking that everything on TV is fake and that the only thing in life is where he lives in the shed. Have is after. So this was a Wattpad book. Um, I did not read it on Wattpad but I 
only heard of this about two years ago. Um, one of my friends told me about after, and I was like, what? That's what? Movie? I was like, no. And it was like a big thing or something. So then I watched the movie, and then I liked it, and then I found out it was a book, and then I got all three. So the whole after series in general I recommend. I've only read the first three, but I definitely recommend reading the rest, because I'm pretty sure they're amazing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. Um, maybe like this video. And have an amazing day. Bye!